I'm Dr. Alok and welcome to how teeth are programmed to move with aligners. So we've seen images like this before, but how do we go from here to here? Or even from this, where this tooth is completely hidden, to here? So once we understand how the process happens and you're supported by your digital dentist in your app, you too can get an improved smile. So first of all, let's learn how aligners work. So teeth straightening is not new. In ancient Egypt, orthodontics were performed by finger pressure. So if you press in a tooth long enough, it will move. So all tooth movement occurs as a result of consistent pressure on the teeth. It's physics and biology. All forms of braces, whether it's fixed in front of your teeth, behind your teeth or removable, they use targeted forces to align your teeth. So let's understand how aligners work. In a cartoon, the animation is made up of a sequence of images, still pictures, played rapidly in sequence. Aligners share a lot in common with this. So if we have a little look here, each aligner is made from a 3D model. So this is an example of a start position of a 3D model. Then if you look at the end position of the 3D models, what we can start to see is that there's a difference in position. This is superimposed. So you can see that the teeth are literally expanded and moved into position over a sequence of 3D models, a bit like the animation frame that we were looking at. So step by step, each aligner moves the teeth to take us from the beginning to the end. So each aligner, as we said, is just like the individual cartoon image. They move the teeth about 0.2 millimeters, and over the course of several months, huge transformations can be achieved. So each aligner is not a copy of your current tooth position. Even though it fits, it's not made on that position. It's made on the future position. It's about 0.2 millimeters away. So by doing this, it helps guide the tooth into the new place. And to make things more comfortable, we have an A and B aligner system. The A aligners are more flexible, so they help sit and stimulate more movement. The B aligners are stronger and help secure more movement. It's very important when you're trying to do this amount of expansion and movement that the teeth move in a systematic and careful way. So you have to hold the teeth in a new position. So we've got three phases to the straightening protocols we use. Expansion to create the space, the little gaps between the teeth. Alignment to move the teeth into new positions. And fine tuning, this is adjusting the details when one tooth is thicker than the other to make it most harmonious. So if we have a little look at some examples of like simulation versus reality, we can start to see by real images how the teeth can step by step close into position. It means that gaps can close, means that spaces can be utilized, and it helps the smile improve as we can see here. And it's all step by step from 3D models. Neat, right? So it doesn't matter whether it's crowded lower teeth, as we can see here, they start to move into position, or what we can see is that the, the sticky out tooth from the side moves into position. It's the same process, the 3D model, the A aligner, the B aligner, the monthly monitoring, systematically the teeth can get into an improved, more aligned place, and they're easier to clean. So that's how everything kind of works in that regard. So once the teeth are straightened, you need to hold them in position because your own lip muscles, cheek muscles, and tongue will want to push the teeth out of position. So I hope you found that helpful. And that's a little bit of the science of straightening to help you understand how to improve your smile. Thank you.